Okay, so today is finally the day that I talk about the job that I worked for only a week. So I started on August 2nd, the day after my finals, and I'm not going to say the plumbing company's name just because I don't have to. <laughs> and um, so I started as a plumbing apprentice slash trainee. And basically on the first day, I went in dressed up, at, you know, in my work boots. I don't have steel toed boots, but I was okay wearing these boots I got from Skechers that are water resistant. They're like really thick. I have it in the car, so I'm not going to be able to show you. Basically, the project that I was pretty much being a helper for was a repiping project somewhere in LA, <laughs> in uh, not very good parts of LA. And a lot of um, the cast iron piping were corroded, and so they were working there, I think at that point, like six days. And I think the projection of the completion of this project was supposed to be like for two or three months. I think it was like July 20th to September something. But anyway, what I got to do on the first day, I got to cut um, three inch and four inch in diameter cast iron pipes to select sizes. They're, they all came um, 10 feet long and you had to measure with the measuring tape, mark it with a little red pencil or, or red marker, and then use these like huge blade scissor thing where you like clip these super heavy blades into a loop, line it right on the line that you made and then hold these handles all the way down to the ground and it just snaps the cast iron pipes so we did a lot of, a lot of that and then to connect the cast iron pipes to like you know a straight pipe to a 90 degree pipe or um a santee which is or a combi is what they call it where like it would be like a t right and each end was three inches or each each little hole was three inches or it could be three inches three inches and two inches in the middle just so you can switch the direction that the cast iron pipes are going the most that i could carry by myself was a two inch 10 feet cast iron pipe which is really skinny and just looking at it, it doesn't seem like it would be that heavy but i could not carry a three inch pipe cast iron pipe all by myself they were that heavy wherever the cast iron pipes were exposed like if you're w walking under something or walking through something wherever you the pipes were visible it has to be cast iron so that could be like towards the ground it could be going up it could be up at the ceiling like wherever it is that you could see that's exposed to the outside needed to be cast iron so we had to cut with the jigsaw the corroded galvanized steel pipes and cat old cast iron pipes and remeasure them and replace them with brand new cast iron pipes and if you could like it seems simple enough but the design of plumbing has to be so that every turn every every straight line every horizontal line has to be a quarter of an inch slope so you use a level and you has to that little bubble inside a level has to be right next to the one fourth line and that is so that any waste that comes from above has like a slope to go down and into the main sewer line so it is a lot of work so the boss basically um, he was in his 60s so he hired me the first day I spoke with him in the office for two hours while the other guys were already starting work and bringing all the supplies out and whatnot and he kind of you know asked me what kind of like plumbing do you want to go into do you want to go into new constructions do you want to go into repiping like sewers some pumps uh, service and repair like what are you wanting to do and I guess because his company is project-based and depending on whatever the project is, it could be any of those things. So with this repiping project, um, it did involve, so it is a repiping project, but because some parts of the pipes, the old pipes that we need to replace will go through the different tenants' um, units, 
those like inner wall pipes could be ABS. So we needed to replace the old ones with ABS pipes and that would be kind of like more on the service and repair side. Well, not really because the service and repair side is going to be more like fixtures and reinstalling. But that it involved a little bit of that because we would need to replace like old pipes on the the old pee traps under a kitchen sink or an old pee trap under a bathroom sink uh, the drains inside um, a water or under a water closet and then put new wax rings and you know take off the anchor bolts off of the flange of the wax or of the closet ring things like that we did have to do that um, and I think that was on the last day that I worked, which was on Thursday. So when I got there, we were starting with the garage. So two people went underneath the house to expose the old pipes in the crawl space so that they could um, cut parts of it and replace it with brand new cast iron, or actually brand new ABS pipes. And then um, in the garage area where, you know, these apartments where you um, have the units up at the top and then you park right underneath it and then the um, Garage doesn't have a garage door. It's just basically like you walk you park right under the units and so That is where kind of people walk around so it needed to be replaced with cast iron So we did a lot of that and so a lot of the quarter inch level checking using ladders a lot of looking up which you would think wouldn't make you that tired, but it really does and um, using a grinder or a jigsaw to cut old corroded pipes like cast iron pipes I think the widest one that we had that were really really old I think they were like four maybe five inch pipes and you need like one of those huge mask huge like helmet things that you would probably use for soldering because there's like sparks flying because it's just so it's a lot of contact a lot of friction to cut that and they were like oh well you know you need to be a little bit more experienced in order to do that and I also knew that I wasn't going to be strong enough to hold the grinder and you know cut straight the whole time the thing is so strong and turning it on makes you kind of like ricochet a little bit because that force is so strong um, but I got to a point where <laughs> I was waiting for them to do things and I was like, you know what? I could probably do this, like I'm strong enough. So I was like, could I cut this part of the pipe so that we could start working on it? Um, this other person that was fairly new, him and I were just standing and waiting for them and I just didn't wanna be like standing there. They weren't really giving us instructions and I wanted to be helpful and like get started on the next part. So I went to go over there and tried it and I cut it so crooked and like I would keep doing it and like oh my gosh I'm losing strength I need to turn it off and then you know pull the grinder out and I would and I would look and it's like okay I need to like continue in the same cut I would try and I would keep missing it like as soon as I turn it on I keep I went to a different direction and it was awful like I had three different holes in there and I had to have the helper I mean the helper the other new person who's been working there for two weeks before I got there he had to finish my cuts because you know him being a boy even though we're like almost the same size he was much stronger than I was and he's used a grinder before so he ended up having to finish it but they were really you know proud of the fact that I wanted to try um, and they let me try it so I mean, at least I know that that's something that I'm not going to be able to do or I need more practice or I would just need a lot more time to finish uh, cutting 5-inch cast iron corroded ass pipe. Like a 2-inch cast iron pipe, maybe like this long, like 23 inches or something or 24 inches, like 2 feet, that is is not that heavy right you can just hold it whatever you walk around with it but if you're holding it up tight and you are putting couplings where it's couplings are basically like rubber inside and then has this like really thin aluminum like shell around it and you use a power drill to tighten it tighten the shells and basically that the rubber part has um, 
lips on both sides and you put the pipes in through the hole and then you tighten it with the little silver part. You have to measure it precisely so that the pipe will fit on each side and then you have to choose a side that you're going to put the coupling on first and tighten and then make sure that the other side which also needs to have coupling to you know attach to the other side of the pipe um, fits perfectly and you know if if it's a 24 inch that's like probably the smallest pipe i had to go and grab you know it was like a, the doorway of the laundry room like up at the top you need to have pipes to connect from one of the units for the waste to go down and pass the laundry room and then into the garage area and then the garage area spins around a couple times in a slope and into the crawl space and then into the street right so that two inch pipe holding it up upright while we're making sure everything fits and then you know having one person hold it and then tighten and whatever like it gets tiring because it's so heavy you know and i don't want to sound like a you know someone just just complains because when i'm up there i'm like i don't complain you know i try to do everything as much as fast as i can as efficiently as i can and as you know i try to be really really helpful but it was really really hard and i would say more than it was dirty it was just physical labor and i think i exerted myself a little bit too much okay and this all leads me to the very last day and boss had told the supervisor the foreman was told by the boss to not send me underneath like in the cross space like underneath the building like where you cannot stand where you like have to go like this to be able to like stay in place and wait for your instructions you know you can't even go like this because it's that shallow underneath the building where it's super dusty it's not good to breathe the air under there it's just not like safe work conditions but you know this is how piping works and how crazy is it that it freaking works <laughs> and i guess like after some time you be so experienced and so be so quick at like cutting pipes underneath and installing like putting the you know plumber's glue plumber's glue to attach abs pipes and then for cast iron pipes you have to use the couplings um to attach everything but yeah i guess you would be way quicker to do it but man like breathing the air underneath it's so dirty it's so dusty surprisingly no bugs you know it's it's a really tough job for this apartment building that we're working on it wasn't just like go underneath and it was just that one space there was a concrete wall in that crawl space and on each side of the concrete wall it was probably like 32 by 32 square and you could go in through that square to get to the other side of the concrete wall which is another crawl space where you can't get in th to that crawl space except for the entrance that you came from so you gotta crawl underneath here and then crawl 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 go this way and then get to that side or the other side to get to that side and to remove one of the old pipes in there we have to cut with a jigsaw the pipe the end of the pipe on the other end so <sighs> i couldn't i couldn't go through that far I was yeah like, it's a really tough job and while we were down there from the person that i was helping has 20 years of experience he was kind of like a rough around the edges person and he started to get a nosebleed because of all the congestion like all the buildup that he had in his nose from years of doing plumbing and he wasn't even wearing a mask like when I went down there, I put on, I had a hat, I had safety goggles, I had a dust mask on. Like, I went in there all like that. And almost all the guys, they don't do that at all. And it's like, why? We're using so many tools, like, over and over. And it's like, there's so much stuff going on. Like, it's not just our construction project or plumbing project. But, you know, there's, like, demolition going on, like, breaking down these storage unit parts and like there's just a lot of dust and it's just the air is not clean okay and we're doing a bunch of like breaking down things leaking whatever and not to mention when i cut one of the old pipes and replaced it with like we plugged in one side because that wasn't part of the slope 
I really, I actually saw the remnants of number two. <laughs> and surprisingly, that wasn't even the worst part. The worst part is just like, being conscious of how dirty everything was like after going down in the crawl space and going up to the office during our break i took off my safety goggles and i took off my dust mask and it was black right here and i'm like i don't even know where that dust came from it didn't feel like that bad breathing it in right it just feels like okay it is dusty there's a lot of dirt whatever and we're moving things around in this tiny shallow space so there's probably bacteria in there but it was just black and i was just so dirty and it's just not great working conditions and i this is i'm going off on a tangent but i feel like as an economist i can understand because there are people willing to accept these jobs that's why there's people willing to accept such low pay um but this job should pay like a hundred bucks an hour. Like this is so not great for your health. I got a lot of bruises from it. Like this one, it's actually like healing up pretty nicely, but I fell while trying to cut a cast iron pipe. And then I have some bruises here. Just So I'm no longer a plumbing tranny. Being a like strictly plumbing person, a repiping person, would not be something that I would be willing to do. But for service and repair, I would still hope to learn some of that, like you know, water heaters, water closets, kitchen sinks, things like that, which I will, um, I foresee learning with this new job. So anyway, without further ado. Thank you so much for watching. I post videos every Tuesday and Sunday. Don't have Instagram on my phone right now, but if you would like to follow me on Instagram for latest updates and some pictures of my dogs, my handle is at my kind of economical, same as this channel. And um, yeah, if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe so you can hold me accountable on my journey. And um, that's it. Thank you for watching. Bye.